From a driver in Columbus, Ohio, who decided to back their way out of a traffic jam, and a beer truck in the Philippines that tried whipping around the wrong bend, to a giant rock slab in Italy that surfed its way down a hill, and a burst water pipe in India that flooded the entire road. Here are 10 incredible moments caught on highway CCTV camera. Chongqing is a major Chinese city on the Yangtze River economic belt. It's home to about 32 million people crammed into an area the size of Austria. As you can imagine, traffic gets pretty bad. On March 19th of 2010, a motorcyclist pulled into a busy intersection in downtown Chongqing. It's one of those every-man-for-himself intersections with no traffic lights or signals. When you see a lane, you've got to take it. This biker and his passenger saw plenty of lanes. Plenty of wrong lanes. We kick things off with a bang as our biker duo slams into a minibus. The driver steps out to see if they're okay, and to their credit, they pop back up. Then, the biker hits the throttle and slams into another car. Now, how do you hit two cars back to back? The minibus driver tries to get this man off the motorcycle. If we had to guess, he probably had a few too many that afternoon. But there's no stopping this guy as he throttles again, this time tapping another scooter. He's almost home free when suddenly he smacks into yet another bus. But the craziness of this video isn't over yet. He runs around to shake off the pain and tries to bolt when the driver gets out. He hops on the scooter and drives straight into an open well only 10 feet away from the chaos. Talk about a crazy ending to a crazy story. Thankfully, the well wasn't deep and the water broke his fall. He walked away with a few bumps and bruises, and probably some traffic tickets too. Everyone hates traffic, especially this driver from Columbus, Ohio. He made statewide news in a city of 2.1 million people after pulling off a risky escape from gridlock. It was June 5th of 2018, around 6.30 a.m. Highway cameras rolled as traffic piled up on US 33. A white SUV simply couldn't take it anymore. The driver threw their car in reverse, but what happened next had traffic authorities scratching their heads. We open on the white SUV backing out of traffic. They wiggle their way into the breakdown lane. At this point, it looks like they might whip around. Instead, the driver starts backing up the on-ramp. Our driver is fortunate nobody was coming down the on-ramp while they were backing up. But then things get crazier when they finally reach the end of the on-ramp. They just keep going in reverse. They turn right and join traffic moving across the overpass. Incredibly, they make it through another intersection before turning toward a plaza. We believe their car got stuck in reverse while sitting in traffic. That explains why they kept driving backwards once they reached the top. The only question is, why would they have put their car in reverse in the first place? While the Ohio DOT was impressed, they urged people not to try this crazy stunt. If your car isn't running properly, pull over immediately. Buenos Aires is the capital and largest city in Argentina. About 15 million people live within the metro area and rely heavily on public transportation. On August 16th of 2023, a double-length bus was crawling through traffic when it experienced an electrical issue. It suddenly burst into flames, forcing everyone to evacuate. Police security cameras captured the harrowing experience from beginning to end. We see the bus move off camera. Then, traffic suddenly stops behind it. We cut to another angle, showing the second car beginning to smoke. People spill onto the road as they evacuate the burning bus. From the looks of things, there had to be at least a hundred people in there. Some scramble up the hill, while others run down the street. Meanwhile, traffic moves steadily in the other lanes. But that's all about to change. A flaming oil slick stretches across the highway as the bus goes up. Cars change lanes to avoid the fire. Soon, their only choice is to drive clean through it. A flaming wall eventually blocks all traffic. The bus turns into a giant fireball, 
and a thick black cloud fills most of the screen. Even parts of the hill get burnt away. Firefighters arrive a few minutes later to put the fire out. According to reports, everyone made it off the bus and nobody got hurt during the fire. Some people don't think before they act. Take this truck driver in Jinhua, China, who devised an interesting way to transport a bent water pipe. It was September 4th of 2020. From what we can tell, the pipe had a few imperfections. So the driver attached it to the back of his rig to kill two birds with one stone. He hoped pulling the 300-foot pipe along the road would straighten the metal. What could possibly go wrong? Well, here comes our idiot driver and his 300-foot pipe. On the bright side, he's going slow enough that everyone sees him coming. The light turns green and the other drivers wait until the pipe passes. That thing looks like it's never going to end. A few seconds later, we see a pedestrian wandering in the middle of the road. We're not sure if he's following the pipe or out for a stroll. Either way, he gets swept off his feet when a truck goes through the intersection, dragging the pipe with it. It's a shame because it looks like they were almost done. Both drivers took equal responsibility for any damage they caused. Thankfully, the pedestrian was unharmed. Sandin Taufers is an interesting little town in northern Italy. It's home to about 5,000 people living in the Taufers Valley on the Austrian border. Even though it's an Italian town, 97% of the population speaks German. On April 24th of 2023, all those German-speaking Italians were stunned when a strange event occurred near the highway. What you're about to see gives new meaning to the term rock slide. Keep your eye on the top left corner of the screen. There's a boulder resting atop the hill that's about to shake loose. There's no tumbling or rolling. The boulder simply slides like a surfer on a big wave. Unfortunately, it's heading right toward a building and a busy highway. The boulder misses the building by a few feet before skipping onto the highway. It stops in the middle of the road, nearly blocking the whole thing. Just imagine the kind of damage that rock could have done. According to reports, this incident occurred at the bottom of a ski resort that had just closed for the season. Experts believe grass growing on wet soil helped the rock surf down the hill. The shape of the boulder itself also kept it from rolling over. A burst water pipe is one of the quickest ways to ruin your day. On July 5th of 2020, drivers in Jodhpur, India learned how devastating they can be. Traffic was moving steadily through the Ratanada roundabout. Nobody could tell the ground was rumbling beneath them until it was too late. The water pipe in question is not the circular structure in the middle. It's actually hidden under the road off to the left side. Don't worry, you'll see what we mean in a second. The pipe bursts without warning, forcing a white SUV to veer right. They nearly take out a passing scooter. Debris covers the intersection. Soon, water bubbles up and floods the area. A local store owner nearby said there was a heavy sound like a blast. According to reports, the pipe burst due to heavy water pressure. It was too old and couldn't handle the high demand. Our next burst pipe occurred in Bodrum, Turkey, a resort town on the Aegean Sea. As the story goes, crews had dug up a portion of the road to make some fixes. Apparently, they dug a little too deep and punctured an underground water pipe. Our white car makes it over the construction zone. They're lucky because the ground is about to explode. A black SUV pulls up but never makes it far. Water bubbles up and soon the entire area is flooded. It gets worse by the second as murky water shoots like a geyser. We imagine the black SUV backed up and found another way around. Shanghai is the seventh largest city in the world by population. It's home to about 24 million people living in one of the largest financial centers on Earth. As you can imagine, trade, transportation, and logistics are all major industries. On June 13th of 2021, a dump truck was rolling along when it got a little too close to the guard railings. CCTV cameras caught the moment its cargo covered the lanes below. 
Watch to the left of the green highway sign. You can see our transport truck coming around the bend and crashing into the railings. The cab stays up top, but the cargo falls onto passing cars. Nobody expected to be covered in asphalt that day. Aftermath footage shows the damage from atop the bridge. Multiple lanes were blocked between the truck and the spilled asphalt. You can even see where the cargo bed broke clean through the concrete barriers. According to reports, four cars were damaged during the accident. A few people had to be treated for injuries, but everyone was okay in the end. Wenzhou, China is a major port and industrial city in Zhejiang province. Hundreds of ships come in and out via the East China Sea every day. On May 28th of 2012, a cruise liner called the No. 7 Mingju Pearl needed a tow into the bay. It was totally empty. No passengers, cargo, or crew other than what was needed to keep the ship on course. As you'll see, driving a cruise ship is a game of inches. Keep your eye on the red circle as the $44 million cruise liner passes under the bridge. It clips the side, and you can see where something falls on the back half. When the vessel emerges on the other side, it's clearly missing its funnels. The Pearl was being towed into port for its unveiling. The theory is that they were slightly taller than expected because the boat was empty. Under normal circumstances, all those passengers and cargo had enough weight to sink the ship a few inches. The funnels barely clipped the bridge, but it was enough to break them off. Thankfully, the bridge only suffered some minor damage. Olongapo is a large city in the northern Philippines. It's home to about 260,000 people who were a little light on beer in the summer of 2022. On June 27th, a semi-truck carrying hundreds of cases of beer came barreling down the national highway. According to reports, the highway has a reputation for bad accidents. There's a sharp turn at the bottom of a steep downhill. This truck driver never saw it coming. Traffic flows steadily when, all of a sudden, our beer truck comes screaming around the corner. It lifts onto its right wheels and loses its load on the highway. Those bikers are lucky the cab stayed in its lane. Hundreds of bottles shatter, covering the highway in beer. As the story goes, the driver was heading to a wholesale shop when he lost control. Police Corporal Mark Leasing said the heavy cargo didn't help on the downhill portion. Crews arrived later to tow the truck away and clean up the mess. The road was passable once they cleared all the broken glass. There was nothing they could do about the smell of spilled beer. Huzhou is a prefecture-level city in Zhejiang Province, China. If you're driving through, you'll likely end up on the Changchun Shenzhen Expressway. It's a 2,200-mile 2, highway from Jilin in the northeast to Guangdong in the south. On April 8th of 2018, a white sedan was heading down the expressway outside of Huzhou City. They must not have been paying attention because they missed their exit. But instead of driving to the next one, they tried to backtrack. Get ready to meet the most inconsiderate driver on Earth. The white sedan panics after missing their exit. They stop in the middle of the road and try to cross into the breakdown lane. They pull in front of a truck that loses control and topples about 50 feet ahead. But the white sedan kept going instead of pulling over to see if the driver was okay. That's when another truck had to turn and slam on its brakes to avoid a T-bone collision. At this point, you'd think the driver would call it quits after causing two accidents. Nope. They keep going up the ramp and drive away. Meanwhile, fuel starts leaking from the second truck, which could easily cause a highway fire. According to reports, the cameras weren't good enough to get the driver's information. The first truck lost its entire load of fruit, but both drivers walked away uninjured. Yichun, China is a prefecture-level city in Jiangxi province. It's home to about 5.4 million people and a group of brave gas station attendants. On August 17th of 2020, a rogue tire broke off a truck and rolled toward a gas station. While that doesn't seem too bad, things got scarier when they realized the tire was on fire. 
The flaming tire skips over the median on its way toward a wall. Then it changes course and begins rolling toward the gas station. Unfortunately, it settles right next to a pump. A bus driver hops down and sprints toward the tire with his fire extinguisher. We see the tire approach from another angle. Two gas station workers hustle over with their fire extinguishers as it settles. They team up with the bus driver and unload on the flaming tire. It might seem like they're wasting it, but this situation was too dangerous. Once the fire goes out, one of the workers dumps a bucket of water on the tire for good measure. According to the truck driver, a bearing broke, causing the metal to scrape along the ground. He thinks the friction created sparks that ignited the oil used to lubricate the tire and axle. Zhejiang Province is a coastal region in eastern China. Some call it the backbone of China, as it's a driving force behind the Chinese economy. It's also the birthplace of famous people like Jack Ma. Now, Jack didn't become the fourth richest man in China by making bad decisions. He let other people do that, like this flatbed driver. All this guy had to do was move this transformer house from point A to point B. Apparently, he forgot to strap it down. Our flatbed pulls through the intersection and takes a normal-looking right turn. Then, his cargo starts sliding. The house falls off the bed, rolls over, and slams into a parked car. Meanwhile, someone's getting out of the car in front and watches the whole thing happen before their eyes. Zoomed in, you can see how close it came to hitting four other cars. Aftermath footage shows how much damage it actually caused. Thankfully, nobody got hurt during the accident. A crane arrived later on to put the cargo back on the bed. Hopefully, the driver remembered to strap it down this time. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.